scarlet blaze. A clash of ambitions. Edelgard succeeds in containing Ayer's insurgency. And while she is concerned by the absence of the nefarious Tallis, she prepares her army for the next step regardless. The time is nigh to crush the kingdom and central church's growing momentum and put an end to the war. But no one knows that fate holds another cruel twist. I've gathered you here in Garrick Mark because the time has come. We are returning to the front. Oh yeah, I've been waiting to hear that forever. Let's go wreck things. For the next phase of our campaign, we'll be working with the Alliance's leader, Claude, to tighten our cordon around the kingdom. Rather than try to advance on the Western Front, we'll join forces with the Alliance and press in from the East. This means we'll be marching northeast from the monastery and infiltrating Galatea. So long as the Alliance does not attempt any underhanded schemes, our victory there is assured. I hope we can finally end it this time. I don't think I can deal with doubling back again. Agreed. This slog has slogged on long enough. Worry not, friends. I'll not be blindsided twice. I promise you that. We won't rest until all of Fodlan is united. We will fight tooth and nail for it, and we'll do so together. We made some headway on the Western Front once the Empire pulled its main force back. What does it matter when their Minister of Military Affairs still holds Aryan Road? Even if we were in a position to keep throwing troops at those walls, we're never going to crack them. But if we keep digging our heels in here, their main force will be on us again in no time. It appears they have already dealt with the insurrection at Fort Mercius. They don't come at us from the west. They'll soon waltz right in from the east. Might I offer a suggestion, King Dimitri? Of course, Lady Rhea. We should retake Garrick Mark. It is the only way to reverse our current fortunes. If I call upon the Church's faithful, they will come running from every corner of Fodlan to liberate the monastery in the Goddess's name. With Garrick Mark under our control, we will be able to keep the Imperial Army in check. Additionally, it might convince some of the more fickle Alliance Lords to reconsider their loyalties. I mean no disrespect, Lady Rhea, but this proposal hardly seems... There is more. As you know, the Bishop of the Southern Church is currently seated at the Monastery. If we remove him, it reminds the world anew that Archbishop Rhea is the rightful head of the Church of Seros. I believe this will shake some of the more devout Adrestian lords from their Emperor's grip. While their faith may waver now, Adrestia is still the cradle of the Church of Seros. There are yet many pious believers among their nobility. If we can pull them to our side, it may shift the war back in our favor. We should strike while the iron is hot. I will get the word out at once. Hold, Lady Rhea. While I now concede that your plan to retake the monastery has some merit, I must ask that you alert no one. And why not? I need only say the word, and an army of believers will flock to our cause. Yes, and the moment the enemy spies people flooding in from across Hill and Dale, They'll realize what we're planning and bolster their defenses. You believe their defenses are mightier than the faith of the people? By the goddess. Have our enemies truly become so powerful? In that case, what do you propose? We entrust the eastern lines to houses Karen and Galatea, then ride in mass toward Arian Road. The enemy will think we intend to assail the Silver Maiden. But instead, we break east. East? Then we'll be attacking the monastery through the Valley of Torment. 
I get your thinking now. If we attack from the west, Aryan Road would be at our backs, and the Empire could box us in. Very well. I have no objections. My church members will assist in guiding your soldiers through ALL. The monastery is holy and precious to us, and by the name of the goddess, I swear, it will be ours again. Good. Then I'll ready the troops. Lady Rhea, Seteth, I place all of our futures in your hands. risk your life to protect this position. Together, we will turn this disadvantage back in our favor. if I were to die here. Did I miss 
judge my chance to withdraw? Is that all we've got? We can't let it end like this. This victory will enable us to safeguard the future. <laughs> <laughs> 